Hello and welcome you guys to my new video about the zeta function. Last videos I, I showed you first of all what the zeta function is, then we showed what the zeta function can be written as, as a product of prime numbers. I'm just writing this down. i equals 1 to infinity and this looked like this. 1 minus pxi and this is going to infinity. So this was the Euler product representation of the zeta function. In this video I will talk about the convergence of this series. What does convergence mean? Convergence means that uh, if you have the question if this sum is going to infinity it is oscillating or it has a very exact value. And one can use several proofs for that. Okay, One can use several proofs for that and actually the proof that I'm using is called the Cauchy density theorem. And what this says if you have a sum, okay, it's looking like this, and you want to find out if this sum is converging or, or diverging then you could look at another sum which is looking like this 2k times a 2k. Okay, the index is not n anymore, but 2k. And if you see that this is converging, then this is converging, and this is going to infinity, then this is also going to infinity. If we do this step on the zeta function, which is just looking like this, 1 over uh, n to the x, okay, n equals 1 to infinity, then this is equal uh, to looking at this, 2 to the k times 1 over 2k, okay, and here comes uh, our x into play. This is equal to this, and we get this sum. So let me write this down. So we have this 2k, and this uh, is minimized by 1. So we have 2k 1 minus x. Okay, now I'm taking out, I'm interchanging these powers and I will get this. And now what we have written here is a geometric series. Okay, a geometric series, I will just write this down. Okay, on a new paper. Okay, we have found out that this sum is very important for us. It's 2, 1 minus x to the k, and k is going from 1 or from 0 to infinity. Okay? It's going to infinity. Now, what we one can do is we can calculate this by going to this representation. It's 1 minus 1 minus x, actually. Okay, and this is only valid, so this will, this is the geometric series. Look at my videos, I proved that, uh, this formula here. If this goes to this value, so this is converging if 1 minus x is smaller than 1. Okay, if you take the logarithm of both, on both sides, you get logarithm of 2, 1 minus x, smaller than the logarithm of 1, which is actually 0, then you can see 1 minus x is the logarithm of 2 smaller than 0. We can just divide with this. And actually what this means is um, this is a positive number, so we can just do this out. And what we get is we get a converging sum. We get a converging sum here if x is smaller than 1. So what this means is that zeta x, which was this sum, I write it down, one to infinity, that this sum is converging for all x that are greater than 1. If you remember what was in the case equals 1, if you go here and enter 1 you will get the harmonic series which is actually Convert, uh, not converging but diverging. So this this seems to be true. And now we know. Okay, this is the zeta function. It has, it has these values and it has these opportunities to do. Okay, and that actually concludes this lecture. I hope you had fun on this, and I wish you stay tuned on my videos. Uh, sorry, I will just make this a bit 
log log two okay i hope you had fun and you you just stay tuned on my videos please subscribe if you like because only then you have the full control over my new videos and you can see always my latest videos okay see you guys